onto this now. The governing party and a number of senior leaders stand accused of corruption. This has prompted President Saul Ramaphosa to pen a letter to members saying the party should cut ties with anyone accused of corruption. Ramaphosa says corruption stands as one of the greatest challenges facing our society. Let's get uh, some reaction now from one of the ANC's alliance partners, the SACP, and we speak now to the first Deputy General Secretary, uh, Soli Mapaila, who talks to us from Joburg. Mr. Mapaila, thanks for your time. Why should South Africans take anything that President Ramaphosa or his Secretary General in the ANC, Ace Mahashule, seriously, if they are the very same party who gave permission for the ANC in KZN to still associate with the likes of the former President Jacob Zuma when he goes to court to face corruption charges. Well, it's not them who gave them permission. I think, uh, firstly, is that they, the ANC uh, in government has to act decisively against anyone uh, doing corruption. And we've made this call repeatedly. Um, it's also important to appreciate that there are legal avenues mm. that should be utilized, uh, the law institutions, uh, the police, the NPA and the courts. All these institutions must uh, act decisively against uh, reported corruption. And the ANC itself must then cleanse itself from insight against anyone involved uh, in corruption. Mr. Mapai. So in what has happened in case at end, it's largely because the provincial uh, uh, party there is responsible for populating the legislature. But I think uh, we've also uh, rejected that notion of taking uh, a Comrade Zandilu committed to the legislature when she's fully formally charged on corruption charges in the municipality. Mr. Mapaila, I don't think that uh, you are being truthful when you say that the president and his secretary general were not party to that. It's the very same collective NEC that gave the green light to the ANC in KZN after complaints that the stage when former President Jacob Zuma goes and addresses after the court was being hijacked by elements that are unsavory to the ANC and its alliance partners and therefore it was permission was granted for leaders to go and sit uh, aside the uh, former president when he faces corruption charges in court. No, but you asked me a specific question about uh, KZN and Zandi Lukumet, and that's what I responded. That's been truthful uh, in terms of the process. Uh, we have actually complained and condemned that uh, ourselves. Mm. Um, so the national list is the one that the, the party at the HQ is currently responsible for, but obviously because it's a unitary organization, it mm. should be responsible across the board. And I think even comrades in KZN have accepted. This is uh, uh, unacceptable. Uh, because it's a faction that is in charge, that is driving uh, its own things. And this matter, which has uh, created more, much more uh, anger, even amongst uh, uh, components of the alliance, mm. like ourselves in the SACP, uh, it's also unaccepted by society. So the bottom line is that we have to deal with corruption decisively, and those who are uh, criminally charged must step aside and not be in the organization and instead of uh, being rewarded with uh, political uh, uh, deployments. Mr. Mapaila, I think with all due respect, the ANC Alliance partners have been saying this alongside the ANC that we have to deal decisively with corruption, but nothing is happening. Do you agree with uh, the likes of Kebi Mapatsa from the MKMVA that that NEC is once again torn right down the middle and there is now paralysis as a result of corruption that is happening in the ANC and factionalism. Yeah, primarily factionalism. Uh, that we agree it has paralyzed the, how the ANC is functioning uh, at the moment because it's functioning largely on uh, uh, factional lines. Mm -hmm. But we think uh, what is critical, and we've uh, made a call, we've supported even the call by the NGOs on the orange overall as the party, to say we need decisive action to see uh, uh, matters in courts and people being convicted uh, and, and, and donning orange overalls so that others can begin to see that corruption doesn't pay. And also that uh, belonging to these factions that defend each other against corruption mm. won't work in the criminal justice system. M Mr. Bapaila, it's, it's very yeah. interesting. Yeah. It's very interesting then what you are admitting to, that the party is paralyzed. 
as a result of factionalism. No, no. So if, if, that's the, if that is the case, how then do you prevent people like Zandile Kumete being, uh, or how do you even reverse that decision that she's now in the provincial legislature? How in the world do you think that the ANC is going to reverse that when they are paralyzed from making any sane decisions? You enforce the rules, uh, firstly, in, that are within the, the ANC system including um, enforcing the rules from, uh, or decisions from the integrity committee of the ANC and give it uh, uh, some biting teeth because at the moment um, it's, it's sometimes disregarded by the NEC when it takes uh, or it recommends certain decisions. So you approve and create possibility for the integrity commission to action a, a, a proper outside the framework of uh, factional groupings inside mm. the organization because it can call anyone. Mm. But secondly, is that you are able to, to enforce the Congress a resolution that indicates that if you are charged criminally or otherwise you step aside mm. whilst the, and, and go and clear your name whilst the organization uh, remains untainted. Otherwise, then uh, individuals drag the party into uh, disrepute and they get away with it precisely because no one is asking them to make particular inter or, uh, intervention uh, at, at, at the top. All right. So it is in this regard that uh, we need to make sure that uh, action is decisively taken. Mr. Mapaila, I think we're sounding like stuck records right now. That Integrity Commission, that's been a debate dating back to 2012 at that Mangawung conference about it given teeth. It still doesn't have teeth to this day. Final question to you. What is actually going to break the back of corruption in the ANC, which cascades down into society, therefore? Is the split of the party, as one professor has suggested this weekend, perhaps the solution? No. The first thing is that you have to deal with the root cause of corruption in our country, which is the tender system. And the, uh, the tender system, which uh, also creates the relationship between private sector individuals and the politics and later on those in business as well as the politics. So if you deal with the tender system proper and rebuild the capacity of the state whilst concurrently taking active action against those who are involved in corruption and ensuring that all those who are in the procurement uh, line, including public officials, including ourselves in the political space and those in government are able to undergo constant lifestyle audits and investigations so that they are not able to live on the path of the public uh, when the public is suffering. All right. Uh, Soli Mopaila, thank you very much for your time. SACP's first Deputy General Secretary. Still to